Hi guys, this is Bupinder. Today I want to show you my program that I've developed for converting graphs into tables. Uh, so now I start the program. Here you have to type the graph name. I leave it zero. I can copy the graph name and put it as a table name. But it should be different than the table name. So I remove the 0-3 and I give the table value as 3 and I give the x-axis name as y as x and y-axis name as y and the selected index for current uh, table would be 0 this is the first curve so it would be 0 so now you click on uh, OK click on open the graph <clears throat> so I have, sc I have to scroll down to the corresponding graph that I named yeah, so it should correspond to the same graph name now I uploaded the graph now zoom it to the size that you want so that it would be clear for you uh, to see each and every line once you are satisfied with the size after zooming check the free zoom checkbox after you have checked the checkbox, at the bottom you can see uh, what you have to do next. It says that select the origin. After selecting the origin, before selecting origin, draw a horizontal line. Like I check the horizontal radio button. Then you have to click on here and then click at the end. You can see a green horizontal line. And as you can see, the line is not completely straight. You can draw a vertical line now, first from the origin, and then go and click another point on the top. It's almost uh, vertical. It's not that much different, but we can adjust it from here to rotate it and decrease the rotation by minus point one three radians and then you can move it up and down or the left and right so I try to move it more to the negative side to make the green line in a line uh, with the vertical line of the graph this is essential to do so that we could get the coordinates of the graph uh, correctly after after we are happy with the coordinates, then we can select the origin points. So you select the origin and we have to type the origin that is indicated on the graph. So in this case, X is as at 100 and Y is at 10,000. So you enter here the values. Now you have to start clicking on each line. If it's different, it's not if it's not systematic growing, as you can see, the size between 120, 130 is decreasing as it goes long. So you have to select each one one by one the way I'm doing now on the screen. So 240, 260, 280, and the last one 300. So we completed our x-axis selection points. Now we have to enter the values for the x-axis. The first point that we select is 110, then 120, 130. In this way, the program would understand uh, where are the points from the cursor on the graph. So you can keep uh, adding those values according to the points that you selected they should correspond that's very important so this is a 300 loss once you finished putting all then you have to check this checkbox x axis is checked and as you can see at the bottom it says that select the next point on the y axis or tick the y axis checkbox so now we keep selecting the y axis and as you can see now I selecting clicking on 5,000, 60,000, sorry, 
and now 70,000 and we have to be very careful because this is how we calibrate our graph if you hear you do wrong uh, you will get the wrong results marginally wrong it won't be uh, very wrong so this pound this part is very important to select the points as precise as possible if you wanted you could uh, make a bigger zoom so you can so that you would have a bigger precision it, it all depends on how much precise you want to be the more you, you want to be precise the more time it would take so this is 900,000 and then 1 million like this we have selected all the points on the y-axis and now we have to enter the corresponding values on the y-axis as you can see this table is a quite a complicated table because it's not increasing in a particular proportion it's like the sizes between the two points are changing two, li two vertical lines as you can see are not having the same size that makes it uh, difficult for conventional graph to table programs I was searching the market for it so that I would not need to develop my own program but I couldn't find any software that could do this properly hence I decided to develop my own program for creating these um, tables from these graphs so in this in this uh, episode I'm showing you how to convert a graph where it has straight lines straight curves though the spacing between the x-axis points and y-axis points are not equal but the lines are straight so in my next video I will show you how to make a tables from the curves that are not straight like in this video so now after we enter all the values you can uh, tick the checkbox for the y-axis is checked now we, we calibrated our table our graph we are uh, did the important part at least the one of the important parts now you can check I'm just checking um, at 140 you can see on the X and Y axis reader it should show 140 as you can see and when I go up uh, the value of Y axis also increases and decreases so you can here double check that you have calibrated the points correctly after you're satisfied with your values uh, you can click on the save and give it a name and save this file so that if you do any mistake along the way of the, from now we could come back to this stage and we would not need to repeat the process again so you can see there are a lot of options available up and to the side now we have to go and add values at every for example how many points we would want in total so if I put at every um, point 0.5 you can see at every one it would be 200 and every 1.2 it would be 166 so it's according to the x-axis at every x-axis how much at every what x-axis you want we make the table in this case I am making at every 1.5 on the x-axis so that would create a total number of 133 table and then you have to select the neutral H stands for horizontal V stands for vertical and neutral stands for neutral uh, sorry N stands for neutral and then you click the first point on the graph and then you go to the end of the graph here as you can see and click another point and you can see a, a green line is drawn along the curve and then you press on add values 
and then you have to click on create open created table as you can see you now is this generating the values from the graph and it's at every 1.5 on the along the x-axis we get the corresponding y values for that particular for, for that particular curve on the graph as you can see you can double check at for example 2000 at zero uh, it should be like 19814 and i can see it's it's almost that same value this uh, program is more accurate is it 19814 exactly the same value as it's there on the table that we generated the computer is even more accurate in reading the graph than a human eye so now we create the second table now we go for the value to 4 we change the table name don't forget to change the table name of the table and then click on the draw line select the first point then you go and you select your second point and then click on add values and then click on open create t table and now it's the computer is generating their table from the graph and now we created the two tables as you can see in the, this combo box you can choose which table uh, the one that you created now we start a new table so I already created the all other uh, tables for other curves in order to make it short I go directly to the last curve and I have already drawn and I have to have skip the video for that part so we select the point again for the last curve the first initial point and then the last point on the curve and then add values as usual yeah click on the add values and then don't forget to open the credit table and you can see now it's coming up filling up the table it takes some time yes now just fill up the table from the values from the graph these are all the tables that we created in a very short time so after creating all those tables click on save database the name is automatically popped up and click on save now the table should be saved as a database so database is saved click ok and this is how we create our database and now you can go to the database and this is the one that we created just now and you can open the database to check the values are there these are all the tables that we created so for example you can go to this one this is the first the one it's the same as the graph name and it will give you all the tables in the database and you open this for example and you can check the values in our, data, in our database now start the program again and you can open a save job and click OK and the same job that we saved you can just open it and you, you can see this is how it will look and this program has the capability of saving your job if you like this program and you want to buy it you can write it on the comments and I can I can you can provide the email to so that I can contact you and make the provision for selling this program to you and if you want me to make this program so that it could make not just SQL tables but also uh, tables in Excel uh, you can write down that in the comments so that I can look towards it and adjust the program in the way that it would be good for you guys as well so don't forget if you want to buy this program please write down that in the comments and i will get you thanks for watching 
and I hope you enjoyed and learned how to use this program to create your own tables.